joining me. My name is God Spar, and I'm a teacher of God's Word. God bless you. Now, uh, earlier this evening, someone came um, with a topic asking that um, how do you speak with someone that's not heard about God at all? How do you speak to someone that's not heard anything about God at all? So I thought I should uh, say a few words um, to help. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, there's something that is true that we have to first understand, and that's the fact that there is no other way to God except through Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4 and verse 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So if any man must be saved by God, it has to be through Jesus Christ. John chapter 4, 10 and verse 6, the Bible says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father except through me. John chapter 14, verse 16. Amen. And it is also very important that we know that everyone will be judged. Amen. John chapter 5, verse 28 to 29 it says, Do not marvel as this, for the hour is coming, in which all who are in the grave will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of the condemnation. So it is very, very important that we know that everybody will be judged. But the method by which all will be judged is what is important. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, there are things that we need to know about people that will be judged. You see, there are three ways that people will be judged. Number one is people that lived before the Lord. And the second one are those that live during the law and after the law. And the third set of people are those that live during the dispensation of Christ and afterwards, which we are at the moment. So if we were to look at those people that have not heard about God at all, but are still living in our generation, in this dispensation, we have to look at the judgment based on the fact that Jesus Christ has come. So everything we need to do has to be that which will bring them to the knowledge and the saving grace of Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says that we should go to the nook and cranny of the world to preach the gospel so that everyone will hear. Because we are in the dispensation where everyone must know Christ. Because it is in that that everyone will be judged. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I quickly want to say something more uh, regarding that. Praise the Lord. Those that have not heard about God cannot be expected to place their faith in the story that they've not heard. But Apostle Paul says something in the book of Romans that they have conscience. So even though they've not heard of God's word, they have conscience to direct them. They can differentiate between good and evil. They know what to do. They know how to obey their parents and they know how to do good. So they have conscience. That's what Apostle Paul called the law of conscience. Amen. They have conscience within them to know what is right and what is wrong, even though they don't know about God. Amen. So if you're talking to people like this or if you want to talk to people like this, the first thing you should know in your mind is that they have the consciousness of good and of evil. They have that law of conscience in them. So that is what you take leverage on. That is what you work on based on the next thing I'm going to tell you now. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says something. I quickly want to read something for us. Amen. In Psalm 19 verse 1, the Bible said, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His end. Romans chapter 1, 19 and 20. Since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God had made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His external power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. Amen. So how do you talk to people like this? The only way, the most potent way to talk to them is to relate with what they've seen, which is nature, praise the Lord, is to relate with them with what they've seen and they have a consciousness of to tell them the story of creation how what the scene was created how what the scene was created by a god 
that created everything in the universe. And when you tell them this, you let them know that after God created all these things, the law came, the law of Moses came, which guided men at the time. The law God gave to make men walk in line with his precept at the time. And after time come the dispensation of Jesus Christ and the dispensation that we are at the moment. And the dispensation require us to believe in the Christ that has come to die for us. So this is the sequence. You tell them about the creation. The God that created the universe. You tell them about the law of Moses. Which God put in place to direct his people. Then you tell them about Christ. The reason why he came and why he died for our sins. Amen. It is easier, actually, if you look at it, to get people that don't know God at all, that have not heard about God at all, to get them saved than those that have heard, but very away from the law and the instructions of God. It is easier. Amen. So that's the way to talk to them. That's the way to put God's word in front of them, for them to know that there is a God that have created the nature they can see. That is the God that created everything their eyes as behold, right from the foundation of when they were born. Amen. So, and this same God is the God that's put everything in place for them to enjoy. And it's the same God that gave that law for us to abide with. And that God said that law wasn't enough. Then he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for our sin. It is that grace that we enjoy today. That is how to present God to those that don't know him at all, that have not heard about him. You present God to them by what they can see. Because you can actually easily relate with things that you can see. You approach them by what they value. You approach them by telling them that what you value in time past actually was created by a God. And that same God has sent his son Jesus Christ to die for our sins because in between time we missed it. And for our sins to be repaid, for there to be a remission, for our sin, God sent his son Jesus, who we believe now as our God, as our Savior. Amen. That is the way to speak to someone I have not heard about God. And as, a, as an extension before I go, I will not um, leave until I, I give an opportunity to those that have heard about God. You've heard about God, but adventure, you even believe in, in Christ Jesus. But at the time, you, 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 you fell away out, out of God's grace and, and you never believe anymore. It is time for you to come back home. It is time for you to, to come back to your first love, the love of God, the love that God has put in you. Be not deceived. There is a time for judgment. And every man must go through that judgment. No one will be accepted of it. So I'm inviting you today to reconsider your stand before God, to reconsider where you are today, to know God and to come back to Him. I'm extending the grace of God to you, not to neglect God, not to neglect this world. You are those that have heard. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, it's even worse for those that have heard but did not receive Christ than those that have not heard at all. It is important that you come back to God, having heard of a saving grace. Come back to God, believe in Him and trust Him. Let Him be the Lord of your life. Let him rule your life and direct your path. I trust God is speaking to you right now and I don't want you to harden that heart of yours. I don't want you to harden your heart. Let the Lord come into your life and let him change you. Let him make you live the kind of life that he has set before you, even before you were born. It's time to come back to Christ. It's time to come back to Christ. It's time to recognize his saving grace. It's time to recognize the work that Jesus came to do for us here on earth. It's time to recognize why he died on Calvary's cross. So we invite you to know Christ today. I will invite you to come back to Christ. I will invite you to come and know that God that is able to do all things. 
that God that is willing to give you eternal life and that God that is willing to make you prosper here on earth. I'd like you to stretch your hands to me as I pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters that are stretching their hands towards me, Lord. I pray, oh God, that you touch them. Touch them today. Touch them today. Touch them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'd like you to say this prayer after me, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you today for your grace and your mercy for once again extending your grace to me for once again extending your mercies to me Lord I cannot do it on my own I want you to come into my life even as I accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior make me part of your family Lord I'm coming back home in Jesus name I pray amen I'm delighted for you if you made this prayer with me God is coming to you right now and he's going to bless you and he's going to teach you what to do stay in God stay with his word abide under his covenant the Lord will teach you what to do from his forth in the name of Jesus Christ amen I like to pray for as many that are in Christ I like to pray for you so that the devil will not take you out of his ways, out of his kingdom, out of his purpose for your life. I like to stretch your hands towards me. Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus, as many that are looking unto me, are looking for your help, hoping that you will help them through every situation they are going through. Lord, that situation will not consume them. They will come through, O oh God in the name of jesus i ask for help for them i pray that you strengthen their heart strengthen their thought strengthen everything that concerns them oh god so that they will not fall by the ways high in the name of jesus thank you for holding them firm in your kingdom in jesus name thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray amen i, I thank you uh, for staying with me i uh, don't forget share the word of god the Bible says that we should go around the world and preach his gospel. Praise the Lord. Now God will help us. God will teach us. God will give us the ability and capacity to deliver his words to his people so that we can bring them back to his kingdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you for staying with me. God bless you. Now before you go, I'd like you uh, to press that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, press that subscribe button. Amen. And press that notification bell as well so that whenever I upload a video or whenever I come online, you will be the first to be notified. And don't forget to share and share and share this message around the world. Let's bring people back to the kingdom of God. As you do so, the Lord will enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you for staying with me again. Until I come your way next time, God bless you.